Welcome to Beyond Press channel. Hello. Today we are going to make Apple being world record. And not, that, not just try but actually make, I'm very confident. And we had like off day from filming today, but we were <laughs> shopping some food and we found this. It's like hand cranked Apple peeler. It can be improved quite, quite a lot. And of course when you want some speed, you don't have to like time for spinning it with your own hands. So I have this electric drill and this has two gears. On first gear it goes 400 revolutions per minute and with second gear uh, 1500. And if that is still okay, then I have this. This goes 4500 revolutions per minute. <laughs> and if that is still okay, then I have these. These are like pneumatic turbine motors for grinding tools. And this doesn't say that how fast it goes, but this says here that 25,000 revolutions per minute. It's uh, enough. So we are going to start with the slowest and move up the machines until things start to go really wrong. <laughs> and, we, wrong. <laughs> and we have also our powerful LED panels here to get enough light for Kronos so we can capture the action. But yeah, I think we are going to start now the peeling action. So now we have the battery drill attached and I have first gear and we are going to shoot this with Kronos and check from the in which frame the peeling starts and which frame peeling ends. And then we know the frame rate and then we can calculate the time. And I have no idea where the pills are going to flying, so let's see. And here we go. Yeah, that was quite fast. We had some not peeling action here. I have to adjust the blade. But I think that is good benchmark and I go check the time. So that was about 2.3 seconds, quite good, but plenty of room to improve. So now I have second gear on and I also adjust the blade, so now it should be much better. And is Anni ready? Yes. And here we go. I think we had the... Now it took too much. I have to adjust the blade back a little bit. The apple didn't stay there. So that wasn't optimal. I checked the high speed and the, those green things aren't uh, round as possible. So we <laughs> changed the apple breed. And let's hope that now we get better result. And second gear, here we go. Yeah, that was quite cool. I think you can call this peel and it's good enough. <laughs> it but is not. I think I should like... I, I, I practice one. I think this like spring... Springy thing isn't like... Oh. Yeah, this, this way it's much better. I have to like push it with my own hand. Okay. To get more pressure. Add more use. Yeah, more choice. Yeah. So, that was uh, 0 0.65 seconds. The result wasn't optimal, but I think I have now, now the right method. And we have much more speed now, so my goal is to hit 0 0.3 seconds with this machine. And this is now so fast that I cannot approach with the machine. I have to like do this manual thing because it's just one push of the button and it's all already peeled. Are you ready? Yep. And here we go. That was fast, yes! 
Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I cannot wait for the time. Let's see that. So I got the time. It was 0.35 seconds. <laughs> so quite, quite close. Mm, good. I think we have to test with those machines. I have to get air compressor here. <laughs> Feels everywhere. So I tested these machines on the workshop and this sounded a bit more angry and it spools up much faster. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Apple. And one good thing also is that yeah this doesn't say which pressure level this should use. But usually it's 7 and I have 10 bar compressor, so we are like overdoing this also. And this is quite complicated setup because you need the, this <laughs> lathe thing, then you need this pneumatic thing and then you need compressor. But everybody has those in their kitchen, yeah. so this shouldn't be too much. And you, when you like you are peeling like thousands of apples, then you are saving some real time by using this method. And at this moment I think I could say that don't try this home. <laughs> <laughs> we are professional, so you don't have to do Hold this. And here we go! <laughs> no, this doesn't go... Well... So I made small machining job here, and now it's same diameter than those uh, grinding tools for the pneumatic machine, so now we can add it very well. Yeah, I think we have world first turbine powered apple peeler in the world. Oof. I think there is also good reason that nobody have tried anything like this before because it's hard, hard stuff. Yeah, I think we are ready now. And I apply some force by hand. And here we go! Whoa! I'm not sure was that... I think that was first peeling and then it explode. So best possible situation. It exploded just after. So I think we found the limit because this thing spooled up whole time when it went and when the thing was ready the speed got too great. So I think this is absolute limit how fast you can peel an apple. Yeah but I checked the high speed. So the final time is 0 0.32 seconds. Ooh. So 3 of one hundredth of the second faster than with the electric drill. And I think maybe about 0 0.2 would be best possible situation because this thing spools up quite slowly. So if you had like bit faster electric drill that starts really fast or then if you can like approach with speed but then it's really hard to use this yeah, but uh, 0 0.32 of the second, I am quite sure that it's world record. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. So mission accomplished. Oh. And next we are going to do one more just for fun. We are going to add the slicer function of the machine in and we are going to peel and slice apple. So apple slicing world record is also coming. And now I have the slicer function on. So here we go. Yeah, that was quite good. Mm, nice. I think we had to came up with some kind of solution to collect those slices. <laughs> but yeah, they are... Really fine. But we made two world records here today. So great, great success. Yeah, Anja, I think I go edit and you can clean the shit out. out. What a surprise! Woo. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.